Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tom's Gadget Garage. In today's video, I'm going to be taking the newly released Apollo Go on a range test. Now for this particular test, I have the max speed set at 20 miles an hour. And the reason why I'm doing that is I'd like to compare this scooter to the Segway 9Bot Max G2, which coincidentally has the same uh, capacity battery with the same voltage. And so really what I want to look at uh, is how the Apollo Go performs at 20 miles an hour with all the same battery specs as the 9Bot Max G2. Now my gut is telling me, and a little bit based off of uh, some of my testing yesterday, uh, that the Apollo Go will get considerably less uh, mileage than the 9Bot Max G2, and here's the reason why. Uh, the Apollo Go is a dual motor scooter, so it's got two 350 nominal watt uh, brushless electric motors that power this scooter. 9Bob Max G2 has got a single, albeit beefier motor, at 450 nominal watts. Uh, but at the end of the day, you are uh, driving two motors rather than one. And another thing to consider is that the 9Bob Max G2 is a scooter that is very tuned in to maximizing range, uh, as you can see with their Ridey Long technology, which is a series of hardware and firmware uh, changes designed to optimize range. Whereas this Apollo Go, for me, honestly, it's a, it's a very zippy, sporty scooter for what it is. Uh, and so I think the prioritization here is on performance. Now the path that we're gonna be riding today for this uh, range test is this uh, Western Powerline Trail here in the East Valley of the Phoenix Metro area. And uh, I think this will be a really good place to test this out because there is gonna be some stop and go, but uh, also some uninterrupted uh, stretches. Uh, most of this is a bike trail, so it's, you know, a lot of it is paved, but there are sections that uh, are, you know, packed dirt. Uh, and unfortunately, the last couple of days, it's been raining quite a bit, so hopefully I'm not gonna be riding uh, through mud here. Uh, so fingers crossed for that. Uh, looking uh, down here at uh, the display, I have got my phone attached to the quad lock, but it says I've got about 31 miles of range. Uh, eh, we'll see about that. We'll see how it works out. Right now we're about almost two miles into this ride. Now the nice thing about this trail is it takes us all the way to the heart of downtown Gilbert, Arizona. So there'll be a water tower and all that fun stuff. We'll see if we make it that far. Uh, and then there's a really nice pedestrian bridge, which honestly, I just went on uh, last week for the very first time. I didn't even know it existed, but uh, it's actually a really awesome place to do uh, an incline test uh, with these scooters. Because uh, it is actually really steep. It goes over some railroad tracks. And so um, I don't know if we'll do that today, but uh, at some point here in the near future, we'll definitely try that out. All right, we're about three and a half miles, 86% uh, battery remaining. All right, now unfortunately, uh, this stretch of the ride is not paved. And so we'll be riding on some dirt here, which will give us a good opportunity to test out how this scooter rides on this kind of surface as well as uh, how the suspension does. And so far, it's really smooth. You know, and that's one thing that I really like about the suspension is that for a lot of the smaller stuff like this really kind of uh, small gravel, small little bumps in the road, things like that, this suspension does absolutely fantastic. It's only when you get into some of the more aggressive bumps in the road that you're gonna start you know, feeling the limitations uh, of the scooter. But you know, generally speaking, I mean, this scooter is designed uh, to be a city commuter scooter, uh, not some uh, you know off-road powerhouse. And so, I think um, you know, for most people in most circumstances, this is going to be the perfect setup, suspension-wise. All right, now looking at this, we are at about five miles in now, with 86% remaining in the battery. So we'll see. Uh, We'll see how we do. So far, so good. Here we are going about 20 on this dirt road. And handling on this scooter is absolutely superb. And we're at about six miles with 81% remaining in the tank. So, so far we're making pretty good progress. We'll see how we, uh, we end up here, but uh, six miles, not bad. Now, one thing I want to mention about this Apollo Go is that it's got a really premium feel to it. Uh, they did a solid job. I mean, this is one of the few scooters that I can, you know, safely take my hands off. Not that I recommend that, 
Oh, look at that. We got somebody on an electric unicycle. That's pretty cool. All right, well, it's looking like we're going to make it to this pedestrian bridge uh, that goes over these train tracks. So, uh, yeah, uh, we'll see how this scooter does. Not ideal for a range test, but hey, it's in the way. So let's uh, let's see how well this thing handles this incline. Morning. Hey, good morning. Wow, this thing's handling it really well. This is actually really steep, by the way. I don't know if you can see uh, the altitude we're gaining on this bridge, but uh, this is really steep. I don't know that my uh, Max G2 would make it up here. Maybe a test for another day. And way out there in the distance, those mountains there, is a, it's the South Mountain Regional Park that I do all my hill climb tests at. So uh, we'll probably be up there next weekend. And we are about eight miles into this ride and we've got 70% left in the tank. And this is telling me that there's approximately 24 miles of range to be had on this battery. So there you have it. I'm probably gonna turn around at around the, uh, you know, 55, 60% mark just to give myself a buffer to make it home because I definitely don't wanna walk this scooter back to the car. almost ate it dude all right we are nine miles in and it says we've got 64 percent battery remaining now i'll tell you one thing i noticed about this when the battery is under load you know you're cruising around uh, the battery percentage will be a little bit lower but when you stop and you take a little bit of a rest uh, the battery percentage uh, on the screen goes up so that's something to keep in mind we've got some train tracks clear on the left clear on the right and the Apollo Go cleared the train tracks. Uh, the front, I will say this, the front suspension is a lot more plush than the rear suspension. So the front, of course, has got that uh, non-hydraulic coil spring, so it's a basic coil spring. The rear has a rubber block that Apollo says has some springs uh, integrated into them, and so uh, just not as comfortable as the front. All right, we are at exactly 10 miles with 59% battery remaining and uh, you know the display says i still have about 21 miles of range i'm not too sure about that but you know we'll see we've been riding around for 42 minutes now and we're consuming seven watt hours per mile it looks like all right we are officially at 11 miles into this ride with 59 percent battery remaining i am tempted to turn around to make it to the car but i'm also tempted uh to keep going <laughs> Now, what was helping us on the way here is I think we had a little bit of a tailwind. Uh, and so now we're, we're going driving back into the wind. So we'll see how this works out. We're at 54% battery remaining. So, you know, I don't know how Apollo measures uh, battery capacity on this scooter. I think it periodically checks and then updates because I'm not seeing like incremental drops like 59, 58, 57. Uh, it seems like it uh, it updates periodically, so yeah, we'll test that out more. So we are at 12 miles, and it says we've got 48% battery remaining, and the battery indicator turned like an orange color, so and we are about 17 miles into this ride. We've got 26% battery remaining, and we're about an hour and 14 minutes into this ride. So I think we've got uh, three, four, five, five or six miles left. Uh, till we get back to where we started from here so can we do that on 27 percent battery at reduced speed we'll see all right well we got another big drop in battery here uh, and so it says we're at 17.4 miles and it dropped from like 26 percent down to 16 and it asked me if i want to enable eco mode so in the spirit of making it back to the car, I said yes. I, I have my eco mode set to 10 miles an hour though. So um, we'll see if we make it. 
All right, so we are 18 miles in. We've got about 16% battery remaining. We're an hour and 20 minutes into this ride. So range-wise, I was hoping I'd be able to make it further, but uh, now we're at 10% battery. So I'm from 16 to 10 here since I just started talking. So uh, we'll see if uh, we're able to make it back. I don't think we are. I actually seriously doubt we will. I was originally planning to stop this ride at around 10% or so battery because I don't want to discharge the battery too far, but uh, I also don't want to walk uh, this scooter several miles back, so we'll see. So now I would consider this to be really just crawl home mode. Last 10%, try and get us close to your destination as possible. All right, so we're at about 19 miles and it now says uh, we have 14% battery, so and now 15% battery, so that's exciting. Uh, you know, maybe we'll get a little farther than we thought. Uh, who knows? Uh, but we are cruising around at a solid nine, 10 miles an hour, so uh, eventually we'll get back. All right, so this is interesting. It now says that the scooter has a 0% battery, so that's, that's awful. It went from 10 to 14, now it's saying I have zero, so I don't want to over discharge this battery, so I think I'm going to be walking it from here. All right, everyone, so that was the range test with the Apollo Go, and I've had some time to digest my experience with that, as well as review some of the footage and hear my thoughts. Now, first and foremost, I was able to cover approximately 19.2 miles over about an hour and a half of riding with an average speed of approximately 14 miles an hour. Now, after riding this scooter, there are a few things that stand out. This scooter has no issue at all whatsoever getting to speed. So if you're riding this scooter in a city environment where there's a lot of stop and go and you need to accelerate out to keep up with traffic, this scooter can absolutely do it. The second thing I wanna mention is gonna be around throttle response. Now there's a lot of scooters out there, once you're riding around in one of the middle speed modes and you hit the throttle, a lot of times it's like an on or off feel. Uh, with the Apollo Go, they've done a really good job uh, with the resolution of their throttle. So you give it some incremental throttle, you're gonna get incremental speed out of that. So that's absolutely solid. The third thing that I wanna talk about regarding this scooter is gonna be the suspension. So as you probably already know, the Apollo Go is a full suspension scooter. Where it differs from scooters from some other brands is its implementation of the suspension. So with the Go, it's got a front coil spring suspension as well as a rubber block in the rear. And from my experience, that front suspension is a lot more plush than the rear. So when you're riding on regular city streets, sidewalks, uh, light gravel and dirt paths, you really can't feel anything below you. It does a really good job at absorbing some of those small impacts. Uh, where the suspension does show some of its limitations is when you hit especially sharp bumps or deep cracks in the road at speed. The front takes it really well. You can feel it more so in the back though. It doesn't have, in my experience, as much travel as the front. But overall, for regular city riding, it does a really good job. And finally, the fourth thing I wanna talk about, which was the whole point of this video, is gonna be the range. Now, the Apollo Go is a little on the thirsty side, and I think part of that has to do with its focus on performance. So out of the box, this thing has really strong acceleration, has no issues at all whatsoever getting up to speed. Now, the nice thing about the Apollo Go is that it's an app-enabled scooter, which allows you to fully customize almost every aspect of the ride. For example, if you're looking to get more range out of the scooter, there's a couple things that you can do. Uh, one is you can reduce the speed. So in the test that we did today, uh, we set the maximum speed to 20 miles an hour. You can even set that lower, you know, 18, 16. The beautiful thing about this scooter is you can customize the speeds of all three drive modes. The second thing that you can do is you can adjust the acceleration. So uh, out of the box in the mode that I was riding in, it was a set to five out of 10, which in my opinion is more than sufficient. But if you wanna squeeze more range out of it, you can reduce that to four, three, or two, maybe even one. Um, basically whatever is appropriate for you. And that acceleration becomes really important in terms of battery life if you're doing a lot of stop and go. 
every time you slow down to a stop, you've got to accelerate out to get back to speed when the light turns green at the stoplight, for example. And so if you've got a lot of stop and go, you might want to adjust your acceleration settings if range is going to be a factor for you. A couple things that impacted range on this ride for me are going to be around the surface I was riding on. So it wasn't just city streets or sidewalks. I was also driving around on dirt and gravel. So if you're gonna be driving on smooth surfaces, all else being equal, you're gonna get more range. Uh, the second thing that impacted uh, this ride was that I went over a huge pedestrian bridge, which was super steep, uh, definitely drained the battery a bit going up that thing, but it handled it like a champ. Uh, but if you don't have something like that, if you've got mostly a flat commute, uh, you're gonna be able to squeeze more range out of that scooter. Another thing that's gonna impact range is gonna be rider weight. So as I mentioned in the video with all my gear, I'm about 205 pounds. Uh, and so if you weigh less than me, you're definitely gonna get more range. So range is a pretty personal thing. It depends on the circumstances in which you are riding, as well as the settings uh, that you have dialed in for your scooter. So all in all, I would say that the Apollo Go did reasonably well with this range test. Uh, it's definitely a sportier scooter. So if you really like something that has faster acceleration, that has no problem you know, hitting its high-end speeds, that's also really lightweight and relatively portable, uh, I think this could be a really good solution. Now next weekend, I'm gonna be taking this scooter up to South Mountain to do my official hill climb test and if you haven't seen any of my previous content South Mountain it's about a 2,000 foot gain in elevation round trip it's you know it's eight and a half miles up eight and a half miles down so about 17 miles of riding and it is a grueling ride all the way up to the top so we'll see how it does I think this will be able to tackle the hill uh, better than the Segway 9 bot Max G2 in terms of speed uh, will it be able to get to all three lookout points uh, that is yet to be determined. That's going to be heavily dependent on how the hill climb impacts the battery capacity. So we'll see how that does next weekend, and I'll publish that video as quick as I can uh, after filming that. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Happy to answer them. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in to Tom's Gadget Garage. We'll see you next time.